Good morning, Whittier Wars. I'm Noah, and here with me is... Julie. Welcome to, an, to the 23rd edition of the Whittier Morning Tea. We're here to bring you the latest news from D.C.'s very own Whittier Elementary School. You're watching Channel 9 News, where we spill the tea, and the news is always piping, piping hot and real. And now for our breaking news story. Welcome back to the Whittier Morning Tea. I'm Martin, and here with me is... Grayson. As we all know, women have a very rich history, but these accomplishments are often overlooked far too often. Women's history remains in the shadows. We need to raise awareness of the significant impact women have had on the world and how their stories must be shared. It's not only important to recognize the work of famous female figures, but also everyday women who have made contributes but who are not widely known. Women throughout history have played vital roles in science, politics, and the arts, but not nearly enough attention has been given to their stories. By celebrating and bringing attention to their histories and accomplishments, we recognize their impact on the world. It's also an opportunity to honor their courage, resilience, and wisdom. Through learning more about women and their impact on the world, we not only empower women today and the future generations, but also encourage everyone to strive for excellence. March is Women's History Month. To celebrate the Women's History Month committee research outstanding women from the past and present for us to cover on the Whittier Tea. To celebrate women who tell our stories, we will begin with Florence Griffith Joyner, who is also known as Flojo. Florence Griffith Joyner was born on December 21, 1959 in Los Angeles, California. She began running at the young age of seven. Florence made her Olympic debut in 1984 at the Summer Olympic Games in Los Angeles. There, she won a silver medal for the 200-meter run. At the 1988 Summer Olympics in South Korea, Florence took home three gold medals for relay races. Flojo was known for her body suits, fabulous hair, and six-inch nails. To this day, Flojo still holds the world record for a 100 meter and 200 meter run and now let's take a look for a short video featuring this amazing woman to anchor lane two is open open jamaica has scratched Closing the stagger on Bulgaria. She is burning up the turn. Here's the pass. It's a good one. There's one down, two to go. Much better than in the semifinal. This is the critical pass for the U.S. Will Flojo start out fast enough? Excellent. But they're behind at this point. That's East Germany. The Netherlands. Wow, she is quite a phenomenal woman. I agree. This is Markin, and here with me is... is Grayson. Signing, signing off. off. 
Welcome back to the Way Your Morning Tea. I'm Evan, and here with me is... James. In other news, the Garden Committee held the Bloom, Bloom Family Bloom, Bloom event. It was a beautiful event. Families laughed, learned, loved together. Let's take it, a look at some of the images from the event. Finally, on February 14th, Whittier held its Cupid Ball. Everyone had a blast. There were all kinds of food there, and it even had goodie bags for all the schol- for the scholars. That's right. The music was popping, and, and the kids showed off their yes, dancing skills. There was even a rotating photo booth. Let's go on location and check it out.
was so awesome. I even got to wear a suit. This is Evan, and here with me is... James. Signing off. That's all we have for today. Be sure to tune in next week for an another edition of the Whittier Morning Tea. I'm Julie. And I'm Noah. Signing, signing off. off. Have a peaceful and productive day and do it the Whittier Warrior way. And remember, if, if trouble, trouble finds you, find the nearest adult. If trouble finds you, find the nearest adult. Thank you.